Hey everyone, Techni and Techni Jr. here with a review of the new Razer headset, the Barracuda X. We both tested this headset extensively here. And honestly, kind of spoiler here, we had a pretty good time with this headset, didn't we? Yes. We really did. So that's what we're gonna talk about here. We're gonna go through all the basics, the comfort, the build, the sound, and then our overall impressions. And Techni Jr. is gonna join us and help us with it here. You're gonna get two opinions, two sets of eyes and feedback on this headset here. So Techni Jr. is gonna be chiming in, helping us out with this one as well. So anyways, let's go on and check out the Barracuda X from Razer. But first, a word from our very awesome sponsor, Aerial Rider and the Grizzly Electric Bike. Packing 120 amp and 115 amp battery, giving you 75 plus miles of range with two big 1000 watt motors front and rear to get you where you're going quickly. Front and rear suspension to keep you cozy on all terrain surfaces, whether that be rough or smooth. A seven speed Shimano shifter to keep you going when you're using that pedal assist or throttle. It'll keep you going wherever you need to go. Also, packing a nice bell. Make sure to check out the Grizzly and all other aerial electric rider bikes in the description below. So, as far as in your box of the Razer Barracuda X headset, you're going to get your USB C to A charging cable here. You're gonna get your A to C adapter here, which is gonna go right along with your dongle. As you can see here, it's USB-C. But again, if you want a little router to route it closer to you for some better reception, bam, it can plug right in like that. You're also gonna get a detachable 3.5 cable, detachable microphone with included windscreen, and then of course, your headset. All right, so let's go on and kick it off with comfort. And when we're looking at this headset here, it's pretty much all plastic except your adjustable arms right here metal reinforced by the way they hold their position very nicely and as you're seeing me move them around here you have all that swivel a little bit out all the way flat ear cups in and out right there as well these ear cushions are incredibly plush and cozy just like what we see on like the black sharks or anything like that you have the nice sports material out here and then the pleather line inside to lock in that sound as far as size plenty big plenty wide and plenty deep right there. My ears don't touch the drivers at all. I really like these ear cushions, but they are also easily replaceable if you wanna interchange them out. As far as the headband, nice plush, fully pleather right there, but nice and plush. Now again, talking about the build, as I stated, it's all plastic minus your adjustable headband right there where it's metal locking in there. It feels very solid. Whenever I Pinch it here, it just feels like a premium plastic. I stretch it out, I can go to right here, I can twist it up, again, we have that swivel, so we really don't worry about any flex points because you're relieving them right there. Now, the only point that I do get a little worried about maybe is when I stretch them out like this. You can see right here by the headband, I get a little separation. Of course, you're not gonna be spreading your headphone out this much, you know what I mean? But again, I do get a little bit, if you can look over here, I get a little bit of separation right there in that joint, but again, no one's gonna be spreading them apart that much. And with the combination of that build and the comfort we just spoke about, this wireless headset is coming in at only 254 grams. So it's incredibly lightweight for a wireless headset. And you really notice that when you put it on your head. It doesn't have a tight clamping force. It's right there on that line of medium to light. Whenever I shake my head, it moves a little bit, but again, who's gonna hear anything you could be head banging with the headphones on, you know what I mean? So again, very comfortable, very lightweight, minimal clamping force, great even for glasses wears. So all in all, as far as comfort on the Razer Barracuda X right here, I give them a complete pass. The build and the comfort is just fantastic. And I, I just can't say it enough. The comfort on my head was stinking cozy, like hands down stinking cozy. Let's go on and get Techni Jr's take on it here. What'd you think about the comfort using this headset? Pretty cozy. I bet why it was so cozy for you because you don't have any hair on your head, so it doesn't bl <laughs> block any of the comfort. Come on now. Why do you gotta call out, call out my baldness here? I'm saying it's stinking cozy. Like, I put these things even on my bald head here, and it's just like, wow. Like, like, like just put these on. Like, what are you... I mean, you got, a, you got a nice, fluffy hair. This is what I used to look like when I was younger, guys. I had a nice head of hair. It does not feel comfy right now because it's not even the right size. Well, you can adjust it right there. <laughs> So anyways, as far as comfort, what do you what do you give them? You give them a pass on comfort or what, what do you say? Pass. Pass on comfort. Comfort on a Barracuda X, 
A+. Plus. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about features and functions and we'll roll right into sound. As you look on the table here, we have USB-C dongle, our 3.5 cable, and then our USB-C extender. So looking at all those options, yes, this headset can be used on just about every single platform one way or another, whether it be wireless or 3.5. Talking about using the 3.5 in any device, the headset does not have to be powered on, so you don't have to worry about charging or anything. Talking about a charge, by the way, you get up to 20 hours with this headset. Now going back to the USB-C right here, this can be used on Mac, PS4, 5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Just simply plug it in like that, bottom of your phone, bottom of your Switch, whatever. By the way, it also fits with like a nice silicone case. If you've got a silicone case on your uh, phone or your Switch, this will still fit there. There's a little tiny gap right at the top of it, right, the little spacer, so it will fit into your device even if there's a case on it. Stinking awesome right there. And if you need an extender, if your PC is far from you, you have this. My PC sits underneath the desk, and I went uh, USB-C right on top, uh, I.O. right there. Perfectly fine, no interruptions, no anything like that. But if you need an extender, you have that right here as well. Now, all of our controls on the headset are on the back left ear cup here. As you see, you have your mic mute, mic active, little green notification when it's right there. You have your volume wheel up and down, and it stops max and stops at the lowest there. Over here is your power button, your 3.5 port, your USB-C charge port, and then your detachable microphone port. So let's talk about the sound now. And we're gonna talk about using it in multiple platforms, multiple variations, whether it be the 3.5 or the wireless, again, on all platforms. Me testing on the Series X, the PS5, the PC, the Mac, lots of Switch, Technic Junior testing on a lot of Switch as well, and then also a lot of mobile gaming here. So we tested in a multiple situations in multiple games, whether it be story games, racing games, first person shooter games, lots of Rainbow Six, just so you guys know where I'm coming from with my test of the sound here. These guys are using the 40 millimeter Triforce drivers with a freaks range of 20 to 20. Now I wanna catch you guys, if any of you with my channel for a little while, the most recent Razer headset we reviewed, I forget what it was called, the Kraken X or something, I forget. Anyways, it was one of their first ones to implement 40 millimeter Triforce drivers. In that review, I stated I didn't like them. They were just full, they were a little bit mid heavy. It was just felt a little closed in, right? If y'all remember that, it's funny. These are using 40 millimeter Triforce drivers again with a freeze range of 20 to 20. So I was looking and I was kind of thinking, mm, okay, what are we gonna get here? But I get the opposite. These things sound crystal clear and balanced. The highs do their thing, the bass do what they need to do, the bass or the mids are just sitting here kind of rounding everything out right there. Playing lots of Rainbow Six, a lot of Rainbow Six these days. Good night do I stay up late playing Rainbow Six. But anyways, I got that detail, I got the immersion, everything was balanced, like a grenade going over here, or a shot from over there, the window being busted out, you heard it all. And you got that directional sound as well. Again, I think the Triforce drivers and the way these were tuned were really balanced out. Playing Assassin's Creed, same thing, nice environment, nice immersion, nice vocals, you know what I mean? Really nice and balanced. And I got the same experience going 3.5 if I'm on Xbox, or going USB-C on the Switch or PC or something like that, you know what I mean? So it's really nice to get that same experience, whether going wireless or 3.5. It's really cool, because usually it'll drop off on one or the other, but I still got that awesome sound going both options right there. The sound on these guys are very nice. All right, so wrapping up sound right here, we brought Technic Junior back to give his feedback. Again, he tested this headset so much for me. So what do you think about the sound with this headset? What games did you test it on, on what? gaming platforms as well i the gaming platforms that i played on was xbox and nintendo switch and mostly the game that i, I play on nintendo switch to test them was breath of the wild and xbox was fortnite now on xbox you ran you ran 3.5 and on the switch you're running wirelessly right mm -hmm. Right, and I, I just before you talk about your sound, I want to show memory, guys. When I told you about how it fits, even with the case, as you see, I have one of these Skull and Co cases here, little silicone thing, and it still fits perfectly in there with the case on. Anyways, sorry to interrupt you. So let's talk about that sound. Let's go on to start with Fortnite on Xbox going 3.5. What do you think about the sound? Pretty good. I could hear enemies easily and stuff. How about like grenades and gunshots? Was it really like impactful? Like did you? Yep. I. But mostly every console that I play on, I can hear all the like 
grenades and shots and things, but I cannot hear those dang firefly bombs. The firefly bombs, you can't hear them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you were able to hear your enemies playing yep. Fortnite? Now, how about Breath of the Wild? What was your experience with Breath of the Wild going wirelessly into the Switch? I don't even really need the noise in Breath of the Wild because of those goblin forts before I get to them. Um, I can use the, th the skiller slate to see what they're doing, actually, so I won't really have to hear anything, uh, okay. you know, because that thing just lets me see very, very far away. Okay, so you don't even need sound, you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> but how about in Breath of the Wild, where you're able to hear, like, the music and then the environment, yep. like the grass and your bow shooting and stuff? Yep. It sounded clear? And also, I could hear those dang things that always kill you of a dang, like, robots. Oh, yeah, they, they do the beeping. Yeah. <laughs> type thing when they start yeah. aiming at you. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, those things freak me out. Now, I know you had one thing, because he was hollering at us. I know you had one thing you didn't like about the sound with this headset. It did not... Like, you could hear other people talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mommy and Poppy, we, we heard it from here. Can you guys hush? So all in all, as far as the sound, pass? Yes. I love the sound as well. I can't say it enough, guys. The sound on these this headset here is stinking fantastic. All right, so we are now using a microphone on the Razer Barracuda X right here. Fired right up into OBS. I have the mic a little close to me, so it might have been a little bit loud right there. But we are fired into OBS, as you can see, and we're picking up right there. Again, you have the detachable microphone with a removable windscreen. And it's pretty nice. It's really nice and moldable. It really stays in any position you want right there. That mute button's right on the back. If you caught any noise, that's what it sounds like. You do not get a tone in the headset whenever you mute or anything, so it's just that button back there. But all in all, this is the microphone plugged in with the USB-C dongle straight into a Blade 17, but we're also going to test it plugged into 3.5. All right, so now we're here using a microphone plugged in straight by 3.5, and yes, it also works on consoles going straight 3.5 as well. Of course, if you're not using the wireless USB-C. But all in all, it's really cool to be able to have, again, all those functions of versatility with multiple platforms and the multiple options right there. And the mute button works as well back there. So again, we tested it with USB-C and this is the microphone on the Barracuda X plugged in straight 3.5. Now, one thing that just came into my mind right here is can we run USB wireless and then 3.5 at the same time? Say if you got your phone and some music or something. So anyways, I'm gonna play one of my YouTube videos. So we're getting USB we're getting volume there right now. I'm gonna grab my switch. We're gonna test this together right here. Let's go on and get that off. Okay, hold on. We might have just solved it right there. Yep. Okay, so cancel that. We don't even gotta go test any further. Again, I just thought about this right with you guys. Right when I plugged in 3.5, it disabled the wireless. It went straight to 3.5. So it's gonna prioritize the 3.5. When I take it out right back into the wireless mode there. So unfortunately, you can't use both at the same time. And one other thing I wanted to mention, as you're seeing, we have the headset powered on here, plugged in by USB, and we have Synapse open. There's no Barracuda X coming up on Synapse. As you see, we just have Blade 17, no headset. And that's really, with this headset, I think that is an awesome thing. I'm a, I'm a big fan of dabbling with my EQs and settings of my headsets. But with this headset, out of the box experience being so good, I love it. I really do. I used to be a big fan of not dabbling with anything. And that's what you get right here is that great combination of everything straight out the box. You don't have to get in there and dabble with anything. I really, really like that. Simplicity. All right, so all in all, the new headset by Razer, the Barracuda X. If you stuck through this video, you can pretty much get my feedback right there for yourself. I love the headset. This headset comes in at 100 bucks. Packing everything it does with the comfort, the build, all the features as far as being on the versatility on every platform with that sound, stinking awesome. What do you think, Techno Junior? It's very good. I like it. And also it will be and also I would be fine if it was if it was two hundred bucks if it canceled no like 
noise when other people are talking so you wouldn't hear other people while you're playing your game. <laughs> that was a big thing for you. He wants some noise canceling. He wants some closed in ear cups. So maybe if the ear cups were like that sports material and then pleather on the inside and maybe the outside and then just sports material on the top, that probably would have alleviated that him there. Not necessarily implementing the noise canceling feature, but maybe different ear pads as far as pleather in and out right there. So that's a, other than that comfort and sound and everything, you give them a pass though? Yep. Me too. At a hundred bucks, again, I really think this headset's doing everything right. It really is. Total recommendation pass for me. Yourself as well? Yep. Awesome. Sounds good. Thank you all so much for stopping by and watching our review on the Barracuda X. I hope we helped you out and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.